Hey guys, Kim here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'll be unboxing my Hush.com Hush makeup box. So, let's do this. I uh, ordered it like March 2nd. So, it's a weekend. So, I have to wait like Monday till they process it. But it took them like a couple more days because they told me they have a lot of orders. So, we shall see. This is my first time. Um, buying from them. Hold up. It's really hard to do it with one hand. I'll be back. Okay, you ready? This is Vant. This is Vant. They pack it pretty okay. Dude, there's a lot of bubbles. Alright, hopefully nothing is damaged. Freaking excited. <gasps> oh, oh. oh my god, they're here. And they're individually bubble wrapped. Ooh. Yes! So I got quite a lot of palette. <laughs> I don't know if I actually need this, but I have a lot. So let's organize them and I'll unwrap each one. This is ASMR. Also bought two of their, oh my god. These liquid lipstick though from Bad Habit, the liquefied matte. Dude, the packaging feels so nice. Almost like velvety. The packaging looks so good. Hold up. Dude, just look at the packaging. Wow. I love it. Yes. Yes. And this one is called Trop Trophy Life, I think. Please focus, camera. Come on. Hey, there you go. So excited, but my lips are so dry. I'll try this on sometime. Hold up. Okay, the next one is called Speed Dial. Dude, these packaging is so nice. Like this ombre. Uh, and then it feels like glass. Although it's kind of like hard plastic. But the box feels like velvet. Ooh, okay. I'll try to open and show you guys what's up. Because I also need to check if... Oh, okay. This one just slid off. I got the After Hours. Dude. Like, just the name of itself. Look at the... Dude. The Bad Habit Palette Packaging. It's a one point. Like, look at this. Wow. Wow. This back looks like. And once opened, they're good for like 12 months. But we all know powder is forever. I'm just kidding. But yeah. Talk Micah. Just regular eyeshadow formulas. But they said these are really nice dupes. Trying to find like where to open it and stuff. Hold up. Okay, you ready? There's some powder on the side. Hopefully it's not broken. The packaging, this one is like embossed, like the hours is embossed. And then the the cardboard packaging feels so nice, almost like velvety texture. Hold up. Hopefully nothing's broken. Yes! Dude, everything looks good. And got like this plastic thing. But, dude, this is a good dupe for the Huda Beauty one. And look at it, dude. This, oh my god. So excited. I'm really excited to play with this also like the names are actually in the thing and not in the plastic yes all right let's open the rest also also listen to this it's magnetic closure yes okay the only con i noticed so far is like you know how these names let's see here in the palette powder room is the upper um, upper left. <gasps> Actually, it matches. Upper left is powder room. Oh, dude, this back though, pretty good. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering, this one is made in PRC, so it's in China, but it's cruelty free. <laughs> Let's go with the other ones. So freaking excited! Do, 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 do. I wonder if oh, this one also slips on. Okay, let's do all the slips off type of thing. Oh my god, oh my god. So many, so many things, I sell it all the time. Okay, slips off. Oh my god. Alright, let's open the solstice palette first. Look at this packaging though. It's so shiny. Wow. This one is once open, it's also good for 12 months. Alright, here we go. So, 
Wow. Wow, that reflex. So most of the palettes I bought, they're mostly like Duke for Huda Beauty or Natasha Denonis. So that's the Salted Solstice Palace. I'm really excited for this one. Look at this packaging. It's so shiny, shimmering, splendid. This one is also once open. It's good for 12 months. I think they're probably all made in China. Okay, let's go. This one, the Tina palette, is a really good dupe, or so they say, for the Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette. Wow, dude, I'm so freaking excited to play with all this. Yes. Also, I'm checking, like, hopefully they're not broken and stuff, but I don't think so. So far, so good. And the packaging for the after whatever is so nice. That's how fun got. So good. Yep, still made a PRC. 12 months. You know, the after charge one. Dude, these are all metallic ones. Wow. Wow. I feel like this will actually, I feel like I would use this a lot more. I love the, the color of Stardust. Wow. I feel like I would use this a lot more than my um, Urban Decay one that's like a lot of sparkly stuff. Cause like, look at it. It has portable. Yes. All right, next. <laughs> I'm like, yes, next. Okay, now this packaging feels a little bit more regular, like the cardboard box. But the thing is, every palette got its own like mirror and stuff, which is nice. Look at the Inferno palette. Wow, really warm. Dude, I feel like these two are like the same colors, but I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe they're different on the lid, but... Okay, this one is more like mocha, kind of. I think like a light mocha. But damn, it might replace my... was it my unzip palette? But wow, look at this. Alright, last not least, After Dark. Seems like a chocolate, but... Dude, I love the packaging, like every single one, like wow. Okay, this is the last one. <gasps> wow, like, look at that. Wow, I feel like most of the palette I got, they got like the repeat colors of all the warm ones, but I love them all the same. I feel like for this one, I'm super excited for the 24 karat one and the rosy glow because that looks so peachy. Yes, so that's basically it for... Well, that's basically it. I didn't even have an invoice for this. But this is, oh, I'll try to put like a really nice <laughs> thumbnail. But oh my god, how many pounds I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. And so little eyelid space. I got two new mats. Look at this packaging. Wow. Alright, I'll keep you guys posted. We'll try to do some tutorials or whatever, which I haven't done in a long time. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.